Have you ever wondered what there is to do in Minot, North Dakota? Well, let's talk about it. I'm Nathan Stremick with The Real Estate Guides, and let's talk about real estate. I wanna break this down in three sections, summer activity, winter activity, and year-round activities. So let's talk about a few of the summer activities. The North Dakota State Fair is a big draw for people. It's a 10-day fair that draws a lot of bands and a lot of different activities to do in the end of July. The Minot Hot Tots is a new team added to the Northwoods League that plays at Corbett Field almost every day of the summer. Across the street from there is Roosevelt Park Zoo. I've been to a lot of zoos across the nation and the Roosevelt Park Zoo is one of my favorite. Minot also offers a couple rooftop bars and a bar and restaurant scene downtown that is all within walking distance. Minot also has several awesome golf courses all within 10 miles of Minot. For the hotter days, Minot has two splash pads and the Roosevelt Park Pool. Another awesome activity that's often overlooked is the MSU Summer Theater. Rounding out the summer, we host the Norsk Husta Fest. This is a Scandinavian Norwegian festival. Moving into winter, you may think Minot doesn't have a lot of wintertime activities, but well, let's give you a list of things you might not think about. One thing you might not have heard about is the Minot Curling Club. They're always looking for new members and this is a great wintertime activity. There are also many activities you can do at the Mesa Arena, from public skating to watch anything from youth hockey to college hockey. The other opportunities people don't think of is ice fishing opportunities, sledding, and tubing. So as you see, there's many different activities for Minot in the wintertime. So now let's talk about some year-round activities. Probably one of the biggest overlooked things is just all the opportunities the Minot Parks and Rec offer year-round. Some of these would be bouncy houses in the wintertime to bacon and brew at the zoo in the summertime. They always have different activities going on, so that's one thing to check out. We have North Hill Bowl. Bowling is always done year-round. Magic City Discovery Center is uh, new to Minot and will be open year round. We have the Trampoline Park that's open year round. Another spot not to overlook is downtown Minot. There's always events going on from pub crawls to 5Ks to family events. There's something down there for everyone. If you're looking for more outdoor activities, there's many hunting and fishing spots located just around Minot. And if you're lucky, you might even catch the Northern Lights. If these activities aren't selling you enough, let's talk about some other opportunities just outside of town. Two things people don't think of is Botno Winter Park and Mandan Huff Hills. These are both skiing and tubing opportunities. Just to the west is Theodore Roosevelt National Park and Medora. It's always great to take in the Medora musical. If you love lakes, Minot has tons of lakes within an hour of it. One of the most popular is just south, Lake Sakakawea. Lake Sakakawea is a lake with tons of uh, camping, fishing, and recreational opportunities. You can also find that with all the other numerous small lakes in the area too. Fun fact about Sakakawea is it has more shoreline than there is in California. Heading north, you'll find Lake Metagoshi and the International Peace Gardens. These are two beautiful spots located in the Turtle Mountains. So that's Minot, North Dakota. So is Minot kind of cold and in the middle of nowhere? Yeah, but events like the North Dakota State Fair, the parks and community events make it a great place to live. Hopefully this helps you with your decision on why to move to Minot or if you're thinking about coming to visit. If you like this video, you might like these two videos over here. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.